Hey everyone, this is Expression Gaming doing some expression cooking and uh, I am going to be making dump stew. So here's some of the ingredients that I'm adding. I will be seasoning it. Right now I am sauteing the turkey meat that I use. I'm going to be adding some onion here soon. I wanted to, uh, you know, break things up. What's up, bear? Yeah, there's nothing in there for you. Um, so anyway, we're going to take this. I'm going to take this thing and dump it in, and I'll be right back. What's up, everyone? Okay, so I put the uh, onions that I showed you in here. And right now, I'm just sauteing them. And what I just do is I take whatever I can get and I make some stew. I make soup out of it, but I will be making stew, my version of stew, uh, for this recipe. So you just basically just grab whatever you can that's left in your refrigerator or whatnot, chop things up, throw it on in, and call it a day and it'll be done in like 30 minutes or so. Sorry about that. Let me. I also put some coconut oil in there. I may have not put enough in there, but we'll do that right now. At least put a little bit more coconut oil. See, you know, this. Okay, I, I mentioned before that this is like the only fat I can have but I can actually have um I actually can have uh, a little bit of uh, olive oil because that's what usually is in the uh, spaghetti sauce that I use but it's just I can't have a large quantity of it and so we're going to saute this up Mix it up a bit. Okay. All right, so I will be back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. I already put in like uh, a few shakes of this. This is pink salt. I love pink salt. Much better than the table salt that you buy at the grocery store, but you use whatever you can. Um, and then I like to use this. Garlic, lemon, rosemary, tomato, sea salt. It is so good. I put it on my hamburgers, which my turkey burgers, which I will be making again and for you guys and how I make th things around this house for my uh, uh, self because of my condition that I have. Um, so like, cause I've said, you know, I have gallstones and things like that. Um, I, I do what that's for. Um, there's like this white button on my phone and I'm not sure what it's for. So anyway, I'm going to add this stuff to and some of the access stuff to it but I will be right back because I have to do it in, in a certain way and I can't I don't I still don't have a tripod big enough to show you what I'm doing but that will be coming soon so I'll be right back all right so I put that stuff in the reason I couldn't show you is because I had to turn it upside down and you know go like this on it to uh, be able to get it out but we want to at least mix it up some more and then I'll be adding 
water. I'll be adding more stuff and water and tomato sauce. And then we'll put the top on and call it a day, call it a night. Everybody else is having pizza. I can't personally have pizza because I can't have cheese. So I can have pizza and I'll be making that for you as well. And, uh, you know, and so anyway, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back. So I'm going to add some broccoli and some noodles, heart-shaped noodles. And I've already added water to it and potatoes. So you can see this potato swimming around. And then I'm going to be adding some... Uh, so let's go ahead and put about three-fourths of a cup of noodles we may need a little bit more um and then we're going to take all these broccoli florets and dump them in if they'll dump in for me <laughs> you know doing everything in one hand not an easy task So the reason I call it dump stew is because the noodles soaks up majority of the water and it's actually a lot easier for me to eat. Um, here's another reason why <clears throat> that is, is I do have an esophagus issue and sometimes certain foods just don't go down properly and I tend to choke on it. So... Um, I'm not huge, usually a huge soup fan. Uh, certain soups I do like, like chicken noodle soup and stuff like that. But other soups, I like to make them into more of a stew. And uh, so that's what I, I'm showing you guys here. Um, we're going to put in a little bit more uh, noodles because that didn't seem like a lot of noodles. Or... What I could do is, instead of the heart-shaped ones, I will put in a bit of this angel hair in here. So I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut it open, and I'll be right up. Right, guys, so I already put in the noodles, the extra noodles in, because uh, usually when it gets done, it's still sort of soupy. And then once it thickens up while it's been sitting around, sitting around for a while, then that's when I eat it. But I will show you the results. All the broccoli. I sometimes will add like uh, other vegetables and things like that. I just didn't have that at the time. So, um... So now I'm going to take the sauce. I'm not going to take the whole can or the whole bottle. Just going to dump. Gives it some color and flavor. Something like, like that. I put a little bit more than I usually do. Let's put the lid back on. All right, we'll save this for spaghetti, which I will uh, be showing you. My famous turkey spaghetti that I make and my family loves. So, you know, the the spaghetti sauce has, you know, onions and garlic and, and peppers and things like that. So, gives it a nice, good flavor. And I really love it. Look at those. It almost looks like... Uh, Haystacks. So, I am going to be right back. I'm going to let this sit and cook for the next 30 minutes or so. And then I will show you the final results. So, I will see you guys soon. Everyone, just want to let you know, this is the finished product, soup-wise. But it, eventually, we're gonna, it's going to end up getting really thick. 
black stew. And I will show you that soon.